For assignment number three, I will be arguing about the good life. I'll be arguing about hedonism, which is happiness, pleasure, is the only thing that has final value, or unhappiness does. And then on the flip side of that is Christian hedonism, proposed by John Piper. And it is that God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him. And the goal of Christian hedonism is to pursue God as the greatest joy. Hedonism is to pursue our surroundings and what makes us happy as the final say, just for ourselves. And so with these two arguments, I will be doing songs, playing the songs on my guitar and uh, go through it and still um, provide insight on both of these views. First, let's take a look at hedonism. And like I said, hedonism is happiness. It's the only thing that has final say or unhappiness, final say in our lives. And so that means a um, little controversy. You have a good life if and only if you're happy. Can you have a good life if you're not happy? And so this goes to the first argument for hedonism. There's many ways to have a good life. Um, there's many subjective, and uh, that kind of goes with number two, that you can have personal you know, authority over if your life is good, like if you like to live in um, somewhere else has terms to more of a high-stakes place. But regardless where you are in your stance on hedonism, um, your explanations for everything is always happy. And in the case for strange cases like My Strange Addiction, um, that's why some of it makes sense. Because if they're happy doing their strange addictions, they should be happy. Because that's what they love to do. Now I'll be doing two songs that replicate hedonism. Kind of that pleasure is a driving force that makes a good life. Or that is subjective or objective and authoritative that people can choose what they want to do for it. First song, I'm going to do Bill Withers' Ain't No Sunshine. Uh, first lyrics, you'll hear Ain't No Sunshine when you're gone. So Bill Withers is writing about someone who's gone and now there's no sunshine, there's no happiness. Here it is. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. The next song, it'll be kind of like a subjective authoritarian that uh, the song Sweet Out in Alabama. These guys from Alabama are singing about their sweet home, and maybe the intention is that's the best state. What's wrong? Arkansas is the best state. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's the song. That was hedonism. That is the can I have authoritative your own way, uh, very subjective your own way. And there's cases, weird cases, where anything that makes you happy can be happy. But here now we have the uh, opposite, which is Christian hedonism. And Jonathan Piper was the first to really talk about this and actually make this in uh, his book Desiring God, 1986, in which he says. To quote um, what it is, Christian hedonism is the conviction that God's ultimate goal in the world, his goal, glory, is our deepest desire to be happy. Uh, our one, they're one and the same because God is most glorified in us when we're most satisfied in him. Piper, one of his points is that he wishes to eradicate duty-focused Christians and replace it with joy-filled Christians. Uh, another thing he believes is that Pleasure is a gauge of what one values. Let's take his example of a husband giving flowers to his wife. Um, the wife would not really want to see it as a duty, but something that um, he would want to do and love to do, you know? And so 
um, brings on to the next thing, which what not is a Christian hedonism, and what not is um, Christian hedonism does not condone the pursuit of worldly pleasure, and that's what hedonism does, and rather encourages seeking God as the highest pleasure. So that is the kind of gist. You got worldly pleasure, uh, what hedonism and um, Christian hedonism is a pleasure um, in seeking God versus the world. Now I'll be doing two worship psalms that emulate um, Christian hedonism, that God is our um, only satisfaction for joy. My first song is by Rick Founds. It's Lord, I lift your name on high. So that's pretty much what I lift your name on high. Love to sing your praises. That you're my joy, you're my satisfaction. Next one is Matt Maher's Lord I Need You. Yeah. Lord I need you. Oh I need you. Every hour I need you. That song is kinda of like saying, Lord I need you, every hour I need you. Uh, we are not perfect of this, having our pleasure, our satisfaction only in God, but we aim for that, and that is the goal, even though it's a long road to get there. 